Hey, hey. Welcome back to New Vegas. Apparently I've got my uh, capture device turned off, so... Great opening! Cool. <laughs> there we go. Back in my little spot above the health here. Uh, yeah, so we're going to pick up where we left off last week, which is, I think, going back to the sink, I want to say. I could be wrong, actually. Uh, let's see here. What do we got on the go for quests? A brain's best friend. Return Gabe's bowl to Dr. Boris. Um... Oh, I did pick it up. Okay, I didn't think I picked it up, but I guess I actually must have. So that's good. So I think Dr. Boris is in the think tank. I don't think we actually need to go up to the sink yet. I haven't gone back down into this area since we first started the uh, DLC. So here we go. Dr. Boris, where are you? Oh, he's over there. Is it this one? Is this Dr. Boris? Yes, it is. Hey, buddy. The lobotomite animal before me. What other terrifying terrors will plague us in our quest for knowledge? Communists? Communist animals, perhaps? Oh, Dr. Be Boris. Warned. Attempt to propaganda me. I will shriek as a frightened babe calling loyal cyber dogs to my aid. Do you comprehend, commie animal? Don't call me a commie animal. Okay. Yes, animal. Hormones, pores, glands, all wrapped up in skin. Who knows what terrifying secrets lie beneath your epidermis. <laughs> Scalpels shall tell us your secrets, even if we must cut deep for such knowledge. You're not cutting I'm me. I'm of my biology class at American High, you know. Oh, really? Oh, here we go. I encountered your pet in X8 and had to kill it. I think that's... Ah, uh, how do I want to approach this? Is this Gabe's bowl? Your dog from X8? Gabe? Or do I want to just tell him I killed it? No, we're gonna go this. What? Why, yes, it is. Hmm. I used to leave it outside his doghouse. Chock full of cans. And <laughs> cybernetic modifications, of course. Oh, you're an awful pet no owner. No matter how chemmed the food, he would always eat it, and his tail would wag, even, even while I, I, you know, I'm having the most perplexing feeling squiggling through my bio gel. Hmm. I can't quite pin it down. Oh, I have enough speech to do this, Doug. Okay. Why? Yes. Gabe, no matter how awful my day had been, he, he was always waiting there. How odd. My gel is decoagulating. Is it? And when I would talk to him about Betsy, and how Marcus would beat on me and call me smarty sissy pats, he'd just <laughs> sit there, head on my knee, and... Hmm... If you don't mind, I'll take that bowl. Just need to remove it. Put it away. Somewhere out of radar range. Oh For dear. For some reason, its similarity to the crater shape of Big Mountain is starting to fill up all available cognitive spaces. Oh, that, Dr. Boris. Combined with my own overwhelming feeling of having done something terrible, the two were hitting me with unexpected force. Huh. Oh, that's a lot of experience. I think I just leveled up. Oh, not quite. Uh... Yeah, let's, let's really, let's really lean in hard on the tearjerker aspect here. As odd as it is, I believe that is the conclusion. And I wonder why it didn't hit me before. Until I saw that memory in your hands. This sensation is unpleasant. <laughs> I don't care for it. 
I don't care for this place either. And I feel as if we've forgotten something. Mm. Still, it is no matter. Crush the feeling down. Crush <laughs> it down. Push it into the loop. The... Hmm. Yes. Forgotten. Almost. Yes. I do not need to remember anymore. Not today. All right, Dr. Boris. Um... Hmm. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell him I killed his dog. So, you put down Gabe. Thank you. A scamp, but really, his highly augmented combat programming could have proved meddlesome. Oh, so he's In not sad event, anymore. Thank okay. you for putting him down. One last test subject to catalog and sort. Clearly a failure of Doggy's cyber engineering. That's a very different tune than he just took there. Uh, I know what the radar fence does, but let him actually tell me. The radar fence protects us all. If evidence is correct, the one who <laughs> built it is me. It keeps anything with a disembodied brain inside, like us, and anything without a brain also inside. It is the ultimate defense against communist aggression. There'll be no infectious ideas on my watch. Really now? That fence doesn't make much sense to me. Yeah, you're not trying to keep things in. You're trying to keep things out, aren't you? It makes perfect sense. Who are you to question the mighty radar fence? I'm Reginald T. Ever Boomstick. Ever since my anxiety-filled days of powerlessness and being bullied in American high school, I have dreamed of such security as the fence. Easy there, Trump. That and giant cybernetic dogs that would ruthlessly patrol and kill anyone who wasn't my friend, like Richie Marcus and Betsy Bright. <laughs> Who's laughing now, Betsy? I hope you and Richie are happy smoking in your radioactive coffins. I'm glad you never came to my birthday party. Oh dear. Don't you want to leave here? No. Beyond is death. Despite mounting evidence to the contrary, <laughs> no matter where these strange humans wander in from with their ideas and new brains, there is nothing beyond Big Mountain. Okay. All right, let's uh let's hear what this evidence is. Enough. Stop filling my precious brain cell units with irrelevant data. No. You sound like the other visitors, making wild claims of a world beyond, where there is a war beyond war. It is unproven and unthinkable. Others? Bother the other doctors with your crackpot theories. I have no time. None of us do. But I'm supposed to bother the other ones with my crackpot theories. Um... What does Dr. Klein want with these particular technologies? There is logic and purpose in it. If these technologies are needed to pierce the forbidden zone, so be it. Science is powerful, and mm. in the right hands, our hands, if we had hands, <laughs> we would be nigh unstoppable. Uh, but you do not have hands. You have multiple screens. I don't want to talk Until to you anymore, next Boris. Time, then. Provided there is a next time for any of us. God, I wonder if I'm going to have to fight these robots at some point. They don't look like they could really do much. Although, knowing Fallout, lasers will come out from somewhere. Definitely lasers. Okay, so what are we doing? We finished that quest. Um... What do we got? Picking your brains. We got X8 data retrieval. Oh, I need to go back to X8. Damn it. Okay, I don't want to go back there yet. Find the upgrades to the central intelligence unit. Nah. 
begin the advanced institutional test of the X8. Okay, so I do have to go back to X8 for two things. Ah, uh, that's not part of the DLC. I wish they split the quests up into like actual sections so you would know which ones are which. I guess I could kind of like tell that from what it is, but. Hmm. So we need to go to X8. We need to get the intelligence unit. We're we'll picking your brain. Yeah, we'll do that. We're right here anyway, so. Let's talk to some other brains. Wait. There's more places we can go? What's in here? Hey oh. What's there's a picture. There's a trunk. There's sexy sleepwear in it, just what I need. Hmm. That was pointless. Can I close this? Yeah. I don't need to go in there anymore. What's in here? More of the same? Yeah, sexy sleepwear. Hats. What's this? Desperado cowboy hat. Pre-war pre casual wear. Hmm. There's a lot of... Considering there's robots here, and that's about it, there's a lot of sexy sleepwear. What was this? Same, same deal? Yeah. So, I get the distinct feeling all these rooms are gonna be the same. We'll take we'll take the drained energy cells and stuff. You never know. We might actually need them I for can something. Hear your penis tit feet tromping around. Easy there, Doctor Klein. Don't you dare speak ill of my penis tipped feet, you son of a bitch. Ah, ah. <laughs> Reginald does not know how to do lock picking, so that is out of the question there. Oh look, Dino toy. Wait, a dino toy? Does that come from the dinosaur footlocker? Does that come from the dinosaur in the uh, wasteland? Because it might. Mentats, I'll take this. Mentats, I'll take this. What's that? What's that? Ooh, magnum rounds. Jet. Yeah. That's a nice clock over there. Hmm. Close that back up. Aw, oh, damn it. I hope there's nothing too good in the locked rooms, because, uh, Reggie, Reggie Boomstick cannot access them. He, he got the dumb when it comes to unlocking things. Oh, hey. There's just ammunition and sitting on the table. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> I really should not have started a character that can't lockpick. You need to lockpick so many things in the game. Have you come for hello? Oh, I'll give you a hello. A hello unsurpassed. <laughs> no creation, okay. Wait, I don't want that. Nah, hello whatever. creation! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else we got down here? On the ground. Before the pickings. Energy cell, scientist glove, scientist scrubs. Hmm. Intelligence plus one's kind of useful. Oh wait, maybe I didn't think about doing that, but I have uh, I might have a lock picking book. I might be able to get into the easy stuff. Ammo box. I'll take that. Hundred energy cells. Hot damn. Energy cell is a thing that I don't really use, but I'll take it, I guess. Okay. Do I have the thing I need? Big book of science? No. Well, I did. Wait. Hold on. Fix the things. Locksmith's reader. Okay. So that's that. Okay. Yeah, I can do the easy locks. So there's two easy locks, right? Because there's the one in the middle up here. Have you done all we asked? Shut up, Klein. If not, we will not 
hesitate to ask again. I, I'm sure you won't. And was this an easy one here? Yeah, okay. Okay. Lockpick. Oh, it's been a while since I've used this interface. <laughs> I can't lockpick. It's been far too long since I've done this in the game. Oh. Okay, we'll take that. And then we'll go get that door before it wears off. Hopefully. Yeah. Further over? No? Further this way? There we go. Well, that was kind of a waste. Oh. Oh, thank God we got some stim packs. We're going to need those. Oh, and there's a bunch of sat phones in here. There's some weird stuff in here. Sweet, we got another stim pack. So, five stim packs. This was definitely worth it. Well, we will absolutely need those. But we will never get into the average door. That's just not possible for us. Maybe if we get a key. If we get a key, that might actually be a thing that happens. We already checked that, so let's go start talking to some of these robotic fools. Hey, robot. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, I opened this one, didn't I? Yeah. Doctor Eight. Um. Let's. Oh, that's all I could do. <laughs> um. What? Oh, yeah. Did something happen to your voice module? That's uh. Is too bad or good or something. <laughs> wow, I wonder if this will go anywhere. <laughs> Sounds important, I think. That was a longer one. Oh, he doesn't like Dr. Mobius. Or you're percolating or something. I don't think he likes Dr. Klein. Tell me about the big empty. Oh, yeah. No need to get indignant. I was just asking a question. Oh! So I can use perception. I can't use science, but I can use perception. Okay, I wonder what this is gonna do. This is exactly why I wanted to see. You're emitting characters in patterns of eight, bracketed with tone adjustment at the end. Succeeded. Oh, I leveled up. There we go. On the same wavelength, we got a quest started from that. Amazing. And we just leveled up to level 17, I think? So I got my, my handy dandy notes right here. Level 17, there's no perk to take. So we can just continue on with some of our skills. Well, I just heard the rhythm in the sequences all. Well, all life is patterns, you just gotta let the unconscious process take them. Oh, he didn't like that. I agree, if someone would take the time, you're more than just sound effects in a tank. Oh yeah. Damn it. I don't have the science to do it. Now that we know each other better, can you tell me about the sonic emitter? Really, huh? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I've been there. Higgs Village, right? Your house is there? Who's this? Dr. Eight? 
So there's a meter code in your house in Higgs? Oh, two codes. One for the jukebox and one for the opera. Nice. I'll keep an eye out. Oh, there we go. I already... Yeah, I already got it. Uh, about when I first arrived. Tell me you didn't sonjaculate into the, uh... <laughs> my sonic meter. <laughs> oh, he did. He sonjaculated right into that emitter. Well, there had to be some way to fire it out. Can we at least talk it over next time? <laughs> oh, that's it? Okay. Oh, we're at level 19. Holy crap. Okay. What do we want to do here? Um... Speech is at 75, so we can pass most speech checks. We don't need to worry about that. I don't think we're leveling up sneak or science. Repair, we should be leveling up. Medicine, we should be leveling up. Barter, we should be leveling up. So for each, barter, repair, and uh, medicine, I think is what we're going to do. Guns. Guns is fine, survival's fine for now. Unarmed is as high as I want to make it currently. Yeah, barter, repair, speech, medicine are the only other ones we're doing. Repair. Speech and meds. There we go. We'll put those three up. Oh, uh, what? I wanted to ask you some questions. Oh, I can't. I lost that one conversation path, apparently. I was going to ask him about the other thing, but I can't do it anymore. Uh, what about... Is that the... Dr. O? Is that the lady? The lady bot? I don't like the lady bot. She makes me uncomfortable. No, that's her. Stop we'll talk. Hovering. I mean, if you want. Stop hovering, I mean, if you want. Look at his mouth. Breaking news! Talking lobotomite arrives in Think Tank. Its purpose, unknown. Undefinable. Its presence here, unpossible. Unpossible, eh? I think you mean impossible. Oh, really? Now the lobotomite is a master of the dictionary arts. I am. What, do you have a doctorate in verbology? Yeah, no? I do. I do! And Verbology. Stop the presses. Just in for my eye monitors. Is that Rob Kotek on your arm? Yep. It is. What's your agenda bringing that in here? What, my pit boy? How dare you bring Rob Kotek in here? What are you showing off? Yeah, I am. Robert House and his big company are. Oh, we can make Securitrons better than any robot those geniuses at Big Mountain can make. And they'll last a thousand years. <laughs> uh, you're lucky I don't have hands to tear that dip boy off your arm, or feet to stomp on its stupid metal guts. Ugh. Damn Robco. Wait, 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 wait. So this guy, this guy's talking about Robco in the outside world, but the other scientist guy won't believe there's anything outside of the big MT. Which does, okay. I, you know what, I can get along with, like, I can agree that that could happen, but it seems a little bit silly that they're not all on the same page and under the same delusion that there's nothing outside of their crater. Uh... I don't think I'll worry you by telling you what House of His Robots have been up to since. Worry about House? Why would I do this? I hope he died alone in a dingy room, streaming his last remaining bodily fluids into jars. <laughs> and him and his dirty girl bots. Don't even get me started on those filthy biological catcher's mitts. <laughs> Calm down. Just want to ask some questions. Fine. Ask. Dr. O does not like me. What do I want to know? I need more of those worthless caps to test the CIU barter functions upstairs. Yeah, let's do that. I'd have a few left. Let me check. 
Yeah, there were a few under the monitors here. Here you go. Keeps the place tidy. 50 bottle caps. Sweet. Do you have another name? Yeah, I do. It wasn't always O. I just took that one by default because sometimes it's easier to accept the mistake as long as the purpose works. Oh, really? I don't want to get into it. It's a <laughs> sore topic with me. It makes my gel ripple. <laughs> I like how they talk about their gel. Oh, I can pass the speech check on this, too. What's in a name? We're getting all kinds of quests from talking to these guys. Got the ears for it. Great. Psychology. Clearly the worst of the sciences. Right <laughs> after colosto diuretics. Okay. So, my name is an O. Never was. It was circular. A single character. Digit. But not O. It was zero. But even with enhanced sensors, no one here could get it right. Always kept seeing the letter, not the number. Oh, so you're Dr. Zero. Okay. My intelligence will let me pass this one. Yes. yes, thank you. Zero. I am zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin zero. It's not very hard. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's just ask him if he wants me to call him zero. I don't know if I want to say zero sounds, or O sounds more impressive. Because it, it actually doesn't. Zero's my name. I'm proud of it, all right? It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Okay. Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. <laughs> it's just that they're both sort of round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that, oh, it's O. Oh, vivisect me, please. <laughs> okay. What? Holy hell. Nine intelligence. Well, zero and O look a lot alike. There's no way to tell the difference. I need nine intelligence to say that. Uh, let's think about this for a second. I'm gonna do it. I gotta pass that check. It should be simple. It should be a simple task to pass that. All I need to do. Go back. Where is it? Is it in here? No. Uh, dirty, 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 dirty business wear. Get out of here. Where's that science, science jacket, science coat, lab coat? Gimme. I need my intelligence boosted. What the hell? It was in one of those rooms, wasn't it? I can hear your penis-tipped feet dropping around. Shut up, dude. Oh my god. Okay. It's in one of these rooms. God damn, where is it? Why are there cages in here? Is it here? No. Is it here? No. Yeah, so we can... We can... Okay. I guarantee we can get our intelligence up to nine. Purely with items. If I can find that damn lab coat again. Oh. Oh. Bottomite goggles reduce your intelligence, I know that. What the hell? I could have sworn there was a lab coat in one of these cases. Scientist scrubs, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so. Let's put the scientist scrubs on. We get plus one intelligence. Is there anything else that's going to give me plus one intelligence that I can wear? No, I think I'm going to have to use Mentats. There, now we got ten. <sighs> what? Okay, that's some fucking bullshit right there. Okay, so I am using plus two. I had seven to start. Uh, 
I've got plus... Oh my god. That is so dumb. Or anything else that gives me more intelligence. No. Okay, so somehow with a plus two intelligence from the Mentats and a plus one from the scientist scrubs, I am still somehow only getting eight intelligence. My base intelligence is something like seven. I was at seven and I added plus three. Apparently that adds up to eight. Logic. Fuck that. Let's go talk to the other stupid Please. robots then. Shut you up. You are an unusual specimen to so boldly walk into the mighty expanse of the think tank. Fearless and proud as a teddy bear. Yeah. Between the extraction of their higher reasoning abilities and urination-inducing fear, most lobotomites dare not approach us, let alone speak to us. Oh, really? Yet you have no such fear. Facing me, epidermis fleshed with blood, plasma running molten beneath, your face contorting with muscular expression. Will you indulge me? Say a few words. Face towards <laughs> the monitors, please, so that I might record it for further examination. Easy there, Dala. Wow. Yes, yes, go on. Seeing your lips and mouth <laughs> form your words, both revolting and somehow... How does it feel to have the flesh roll around in your mouth like that? To control each muscle and the tongue? Like having a fish or extremely dexterous slug lolling and flopping in one's mouthful cavity. <laughs> oh, wow, Dala. I can't help but notice your fascination with the human body. What? Nonsense. Oh, yeah, okay. Um... We're putting on a show for this creepy robot, apparently. What do we want to do? Close our eyelids, breathe deeply, and stretch languidly, turn and cough roughly, then slowly scratch nose, or run our hands along the side of our face and exhale rapidly. Let's do the first one. What? What are you doing? Oh my god, that's it? That's all I had to do? Stop it. Why? Why are you making me partake <laughs> in this filthy formography? Do this one now. Enough. I'm already intrigued. <laughs> you, have you have sufficiently percolated me. <laughs> Percolated. I don't know what it is about the biology of lobotomites. It it infects my thoughts. All that skin and muscle and tissue. <laughs> Why don't you just give in? There's nothing wrong with looking at the human body. Perhaps Perhaps there is value in what you say. Oh, I think there is. I, I did so enjoy breathing once, long ago. Oh, I bet you did. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is uh, interesting. I could come back any time and just breathe if you want. I'll tell the others if you don't make it worth my while. Reggie, what would Reginald T. Boomstick do? Um, let's threaten her. Really? What is this? You seek to shame me in front of the others? <laughs> How intriguing. Really? Yes, I'll partake. This shameful feeling is quite invigorating. How new. Oh, you and like it, you eh? keep coming back to collect your payment, correct? Yes, yes, that will be fine. <laughs> Here, 
Please, take this from me with your rough, bacterial-laden <laughs> hands. My stored repressed juices as your wow. filthy compensation. Oh, wow. Wow. Here's a tip. That's customary, isn't it? Been so long, really. She gave me Wonder Glue, pre-war money, a conductor. Why did you remove my brain? And how? Oh, removing it is a simple procedure. Well, except the complications it can cause to the heart and spine. <laughs> but once the heart and spine are gone, no trouble at all. Clamp the subject down. One laser incision around the skull. Crack. Snip. Done. Oh dear. The brain is finally free of the skin envelope. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that term. Automated for cleanup duties skin below. Mountain. Lobotomites. With you, however, something is definitely wrong. We've never had a lobotomite who kept speaking after being forcibly lobotomized. Yeah. I am relieved the pacification field is working. If it didn't, I would broadcast some concern to my colleagues about safety protocols. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, I'm Reginald T. Boomstick, bitch, and that's why I'm still talking. That is a good question. My theory is that the Tesla coils in your brain pan are still connected to your brain somehow. Yeah, Wi-Fi brain. It really could be anywhere. Brains are a lot smarter than most researchers give them credit for. Oh, yeah. We still have your spine and heart. If you were to somehow find your brain, wherever it slurped off to, <laughs> slurped. you could humanically reduce yourself again. Okay. Um, let's just not worry about anything else there. I don't want to go through a, so much talk in one go. We've got one more robot to talk to here. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We need them, as I have indicated. Okay. Complete picking your brains. Okay, so I talked to all of them. I get a bunch of experience. Let's pass this speech check, then. You all seem knowledgeable in your fields. No doubt there's much you can share with me. Why, yes. We are filled with the knowledge you speak of. Yep. If you wish to know more, simply ask the others. They can help you. Okay. Um... Let's just talk about the Forbidden Zone for a second, that and then we're gonna go. That red scar? That laser lobotomy canyon maze carved in the landscape, as if by some child? <laughs> it is Mobius's fortress. From that hemorrhoidal fissure, he sends his amazing robo-scorpions to terrify and irritate us. <laughs> he always tended to the dramatic. You mean like you guys? Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna go for now. We talked to all the robots. We've been here for a hot minute. I'm gonna have to look up that intelligence buff after and figure out why the hell I cannot buff my intelligence high enough. Let's go to the sink. So go to the sink. I want to check and see if we can get any more stim packs. Might I be of service, sir? Yeah, I want to buy things. Do you have any stim packs? Because I really need them. Of course you don't, you useless tit. Take these doctor's bags, I guess. Um, We're never going to get the K9000 back. We don't want it. It's a heavy weapon anyway. Uh, we don't need proton axes. We should maybe consider taking this back. What don't we need? We don't need a brush gun. We don't need plasma grenades. We don't need any of that. Um. Hey, that's fine. We're gonna keep these. Why I don't have one equipped, I'm not sure. 
Ah, uh, Dr. Klein's scrubs. I should have... Why didn't I see those? No, you know what? Complete the transaction. How did I miss those? I'm an idiot. Okay. Dr. Klein scrubs. Now, if I go look at my intelligence, what am I looking at here? Okay. We gotta be quick about this. Hey. Hey. You robot bastard. Come here. Hey. Dr. O. <sighs> yes! What? Zero. Draw a slash through it. Did... Did I shoot myself with a brainial beam or something? That's brilliant! <laughs> I, mean, I would have come to the same conclusion. <laughs> Eventually. Oh, uh, who am I deceiving? I never would have figured that out. I can't figure anything out. I'm... Uh, I'm useless. Yeah, probably. And that's what makes you truly a zero. Wow, Reginald is being a dick. Exactly. At least the old name was indisputable. Oh, is more like surprise. Oh, look what I stepped in. <laughs> well, there's power in zero. It reduces anything multiplied against it to zero. You may want to stick with O as in the O for the discovery. Maybe you should dispense with the names and focus on the accomplishments. Now, we'll, we'll go with zero. Of course it does. That's the most lethal of mathematics. Yep. That's pretty cool, actually. Destroyer of numbers. <laughs> I already wreck every robot I study. Why not basic arithmetic? I like your solution. With that kind of slash in the middle, I can set myself apart. If I wanted to. The make a zero in all the think tank. They won't be able to escape it. That diagonal slash right down the middle. Thanks. Talking to you, it really helped unclog some frustration. Talking. What a primitive form of thought kicking. Thought kicking. So, Zero, got any amazing discoveries to share? You know, hearing my name said like that, it really derezzes my screens. Oh, really? As for discoveries, well, of course. Look at this. Just, uh, built it. Amazing, isn't it? Well, I had to take my headset off for a second. Here's hoping that doesn't pick up on the microphone. I can hear someone absolutely slamming around outside of my recording studio, even though I have my notification up to not make sound. So, eh, we'll have to check the recording in post and see what the deal is. Okay. It certainly is interesting, whatever you know it once what? was. I'm not even going to pretend. I broke one of the monitors. And those innards start falling out everywhere. <laughs> if you could just hold on to that for me until, well, forever, that would be welcome. What is he gonna give me? Or what did he give me? Did he, did he give me something? I wasn't looking. I was too busy being annoyed by whatever the hell was happening. Um. Well, I got Revelation and I've got Opera. Critical Strike Paralysis. Critical Kill Dismemberment. Oh, neat. It tells me... Okay, so they do different things. I can maintain and I can repair. Interesting. Okay. Um... Oh, that's why I don't have the regular one equipped. I have the fancy one equipped. You know what I don't see? I don't see my regular armor here. What the hell happened? Have I not been wearing armor? Because all I see is scientist scrubs and Dr. Klein scrubs. And I wasn't... Was I wearing... Oh, maybe that's it. I must have been wearing... I must have been wearing the scrubs. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay. Well, we finally passed that check, so I can die happy now, I guess. We didn't get any stim packs. 
My brain is supposed to be in there. There's my heart. Muggy, are you freaking out out here? Like, what's going on, dude? Where are you? Oh, there he is. Calm down. Okay. Let's actually go check the bed. The footlocker here. Yeah, why do I not have... Mad scientist scrubs. Patient gown. Scientist scrubs. What's the difference between science five? What's the difference? Oh, who cares? Spacesuit. Ten. Ten damage threshold on the spacesuit. Maybe I should be wearing that. Although I don't know how to repair it. It's light armor, though. That's light armor as well, with 8 damage threshold, though. Meh. Well, let's put some of this stuff away. Like, I don't need Dr. Klein's glove. I don't think I need the lair. Oh, it's strong, though. Definitely don't need the scientist's glove. I don't think I need both of these. We'll put the one revelation back there. Do we want to keep the X2 antenna if we have... Actually, we do want to keep the X2 antenna. Lair can go in there. Okay, we're down to 130. We'll put these two in there. And what we'll do... I think I can repair... Yeah, scientist scrubs. That's what I thought. So we'll take... Take those out of there. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. That way at least our armor is repaired up and not completely falling apart. Right, just... Okay, we don't need to do that. Alright. I think we're officially ready to actually go do something again. On the same wavelength. How do I investigate his term link code? What? Do I have to talk to him more? Oh, I can't do it unless I have 75 science? Okay, is there anything else? Nope, I can't do it. I just can't do that quest, okay. Let's go find the intelligence unit then. Let's go see what the deal is. What? What? Holy crap, why are there so many markers? Wow. We gotta go to X-13, so we haven't been to 13 yet. Alright, let's just, let's just... Oh, you know what? We're gonna have to deal with a lot of... So... I was reviewing last week's video, um... And I noticed that there was a lot of enemies, and it was really annoying, and I was getting really agitated. What is this? Trauma override harness. Laser RCW. Okay, we'll take it. Yeah, I noticed that there was a lot of enemies, and they were always spawning, and they are taking a lot of damage, and it just seems like everything's really powerful. Um... And I wasn't sure what the hell was going on. Anyway, I went online, and I did a little bit of reading, and apparently, this DLC is known for having extremely tanky enemies. Like, bullet sponges. To an annoying, like, obnoxious level. And that's exactly what I've been noticing, is that everything in here takes, like, 
a massive amount of damage unless you're really high level. And it's not really getting much better. So, me being frustrated at this actually made a little bit of sense because it actually is that obnoxious. It's not just me. That's the general consensus, is that this DLC's enemies are obnoxious as shit to deal with. So... I'm just gonna have to deal with it, essentially. Yeah, come on. Hopefully we can... There we go. As long as I'm doing the short range, like, shotgun blast to the head, I should actually be okay. But that, it's like, I have to do it that way. I don't have a choice. If I'm shooting them, like, center mass, it's gonna take forever to kill them. Oh, hi. And the other thing I found out is that all of the enemies have an insane aggro range. Like, you can have the highest level sneak possible. I don't have any sneak. But you can have the highest level sneak possible. And crazy perception. And the enemies in this DLC will always spot you before you spot them. Hence why it's a great idea to be crawling around on the ground like I am. I see you sons of bitches over there. I don't want to deal with them right now. We're going to the we're going to the furthest north. Yeah, see, like, he'll, he'll see me. Maybe not. Yeah, there they go. See, I didn't even do anything. I didn't shoot at them or anything. And they just know that I'm there. And, look at that! Point blank shotgun blast to the head. And... <laughs> Just said, this is a big place, so it's hard to conquer everything. Okay, come on. Yeah, that, that one enemy, shotgun blast to the face, and it didn't kill them in one shot. I guess a little, little ridiculous, a little over the top, but we'll deal with what we have to deal with. I don't really have a choice otherwise. Why do you have a new Coca-Cola truck? One of them just had a hatchet, which is fine, I guess. Um, can I... Oh, I have to superheat another one so that I can repair the first one. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's repair my caravan shotgun. Do that. Merge some of this crap we've picked up already. See, like, I don't even know where the enemies can see me from right now, but I'm in a caution right now. Hmm. We'll, we'll use... What do we have? Not a super stim. We'll just drink those. That'll heal us. Okay, so we're going this way. Alright, how far on the map are we heading? I need to... Oh, not that far. Okay. See any enemies? Not really. That's a good thing. 
That is definitely a good thing. An electrical box. Enemies. Get out of here, rads. Jeez. I forgot to go give um, Muggy some mugs. That's something I definitely forgot to do. Is it's very important, and I need to take care of it. Where am I? Signal Hills Transmitter. Is that the Forbidden Zone? Like, that's the thing I'm not sure about. What exactly... Okay, Forbidden Zone. That is the Forbidden Zone, Okay, so at least I know where I'm going. Oh, good. Elijah's advanced lair. Torn journal page. Set up camp here after Yangtze attack. Two exposed here. Transmitters vulnerable. Hacked it. Set up remote link so can access at any time. Need to find spot closer to the north train tunnel with clear broadcast. LOS to here. Canyons are too dangerous. Can't go back to Yangtze. There is... Where is it? There is that weather station northwest that drew the courier here. But going there sounds like trouble. For now, going to scout the waste disposal site, then around the perimeter of that Securitron plant. See if I can find a more defensible position. Hmm. Who is this? Prismatic Lens. What? So you can upgrade the lair as well? That is weird. <laughs> Got a ton of electron charge packs and microfusion cells. Oh shit. What is that? Oh, that is bullshit. What the hell? This can't be good. This really can't be good. There's two of them. Well, oh crap. Well, I guess I fell down. Not much I can do about that. Um, go around, I guess. Shit! <laughs> they can't get me. Ah, crap. That guy's down. Where's the other one? I know there's another one. Shit, is there more enemies coming to me? Oh, what? I don't know what I just got in the top corner there. I couldn't look. We got a Saturnite Fist, though. I'll take that as usual. Shit. What's coming at me now? Photon Axe. Um... Random stuff just screwing around here. Ah! Oh, I can hear the robots jibber jabbering over there. I'll take the new cola. What's this? Oh, I don't need scrap electronics. There's nothing else in there. Cool. 
Uh, well, we gotta go into the signal hill transmitter.